A little spin over the Grand National Fences next then for the Beecher Chase. It's a three and a quarter mile 0 to 160 handicap over the Grand National Fences. And at the top, the teacher for Joshua Sutherland, not a contract. Craig Beckwith, Haberley, Darren Thompson, the warden, Joshua Sutherland, one trap mind, Leon Van Rensburg, De Villa Lake, Darren Thompson, Galaxy, Craig Beckwith, Silent Voices, Graham Clutterbuck, Pop World, David Hooley, Clubber Dinge, Padre Hogan, Rebecca Sledmere, David Robertson, and Arctic Watch. At the bottom for Alex Cherry, a field of 12. Called in and away. And all safely over the first. With Habberley. And lead them into this ditch. And all safely over that one. Nicely. And we've got 19 more fences to take. Warden and Haberley disputing the lead, and the Warden out jumped Haberley there. And it's now Joshua Sutherland 1 2 as the teacher has moved through into second. Haberley is back in third, and it's a 3 4 for Darren Thompson as Devilla Lake comes through into fourth. Then comes Knightley Contract. And Pop World with one trap mind after that one. Wide on the track is one trap mind, and looking towards the back, Galaxy is just the back marker as they head towards. The home straight where they'll take two plane fences before they'll take the chip. In the water and then out for a complete circuit of the national course. With the warden. Leading over that one from the teacher. There's a fall on there. There's two fallers. De Villa Lake and Silent Voices have gone. De Villa Lake went. And Silent Voices may have been hampered and possibly even brought down because it seemed to be affected by the fall of De Villa Lake as they get over the fifth which the rest of them are safely over and the warden of the teacher will now lead them into the chair from nightly contract who's gone through into third Haverley is fourth over the chair they're all giving that plenty of air I don't think I've ever seen a fall up the chair in SO7. They all jump it reasonably well. They get to the water. I've never seen a fall or any water jump in SO7, 6 or anything else, to be honest, before that. So, it's the warden of the teacher. And we're in the lead. To be fair, you don't see many falls or water jumps in real life anyway. Anyway, the warden's in the lead then as they head out then now towards the fence that is the first in the Grand National and the Warden is clearing the lead from the teacher in second. Then Knightley Contract is third, Haverley is fourth, then Rebecca Sledmere and One Track Mind with Clubber Dinge, and then Pop World Arctic Watch, and finally Galaxy as they get over the eighth, which they're all safely over, with the exception of Clubber Dinge, who's gone on the inside, slightly obscured. From view when he went that one, and that's that time it was uh, Pop World that made the mistake. And they hit there towards the big ditch, and the warden will lead them into it from the teacher over it in second, Hamley's over it third, and then Rebecca Sledmere over it in fourth, Knightley contracted next, then One Trap Mind, and Galaxy Pop World, and finally Arctic Watch. As they get over the 11th, most unlikely, of course, that we'll see any of these. Running in the Grand National for a further mile. It would be extremely unlikely. They get over the 12th. Uh, that time it was Rebecca Sledmere that made the mistake. So quite a few of them are making mistakes. And they're quite well strung out as they approach the next. Which is Beaches Brook. And again they all get over that really well. They seem to be jumping the show fences particularly well in SO7 where it's the warden in the lead a good three clear as they take the four naven fence mistake there was from first to Craig Beckwith towards his nightly contract as they come down towards the canal turn and the warden is in the lead from the teacher and Haberley and then Rebecca Sledmere in fourth as they take the pond which again they all get over okay the Two loose horses running around at the back. Two of 
the loose horses were running about. Clubber Dinge was the one that didn't decide to carry on racing. They get over Valentine's, and the warden is clear. My good four lengths, Hubbley has now moved into second as they take the 17th. And over that one, it was Arctic Watch's turn to make the mistake. That one's now some distance off the lead. Over the fourth, last the final ditch. And it's the Warden of the Teacher again, one and two, with Habberley there in third. Nightly contract is back in fourth. Then comes Rebecca Sledman. They're starting to bunch up now as they get over the third from home. Mistake was there, was by Nightly contract, but it's the Warden and the Teacher who are battling it out at the moment in third place is happily in then comes nightly contract Rebecca Sledmere trying to get back into it Pop World is now running on nicely around the outside Galaxy's creeping into it as well and then one trap mine the only one that's really out of it now is Arctic Watch as they start to make the turn towards home they've got two more fences to go in the Beecher Chase and the Warden is in the lead by two lengths to happily in second as the teacher starts to labour under top weight and is starting to drop down the field Pop World's through into third uh, one running on now is one trap mine nightly contract is still there Rebecca Sledmere trying to battle on they get over the second last and Hubbley made a mistake and the warden is in the lead the warden is too clear of Pop World who's now second Hubbley back in third after that mistake one trap mine is running on nicely and is now moving into third as they come down to the final fence but then they've got that really big one in remember and over it they go and it's the warden who's been in the lead all the way he leads by two lengths to Pop World in second one trap mine is starting to close on the outside, Hubbley's back in fourth Galaxy's trying to run on, the Warden is in the lead but Pop World looks to be going better, so too does One Track Mine they're coming down towards the final half fern. it's the Warden, but Pop World is poking his head in front, the Warden and Pop World it's Pop World who's gone on in there, Pop World is about half a length up, as they touch the line, it's Pop World that takes it, the Warden the second, One Track Mine third, Galaxy ran on to be fourth and another one for David Hooley Crowd frozen in excitement at that close finish in Pop World. Just got up to take it for David Healy, the warden for Joshua Sutherland back in second. One trap mine for Leon Van Rensburg was third. Galaxy for Craig back with one ran on well to be fourth. And Hubbley for Darren Thompson was fifth.